Hi, this is Nelson Ranch. So I've got the gacha screen on because I actually kind of want to talk about the uh, the amount of jewels necessary <laughs> going into the Christmas New Year's event and going into the third anniversary. And conclusion first, I think you're going to require something like sixty thousand jewels as of this moment if you want to if you want to enjoy this comfortably. Sixty thousand jewels. All right. So why? Hear me out. First of all. The Christmas New Year's event, they're going to actually throw you something very good and very tempting. And uh, you may want to actually pull one ceiling. So if you recall, last year, for Christmas, they sent out Christmas Dye with Scarlet and Christmas Vodka. And for New Year's, they sent out uh, uh, the Christmas version of uh, uh, Tessan Black and uh, Satana Diamond. Uh, and I couldn't resist the temptation and actually went to the ceiling for both times. <laughs> Well, that's because I had, you know, saved enough jewels that I could actually do that kind of crap. Uh, but this time around, I have not. I have only 4,000 jewels. That's free. Uh, this 20,000 jewels that I get from uh, spending money uh, is an emergency bank account that I don't want to spend, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to touch that. I use it primarily to just pull the dailies and for the uh, guaranteed temples. Uh, that, that's it. Uh, so uh, you want to spend. A conservative estimate, I think, is that you want to spend one ceiling uh, for either the character or for the support card for this uh, Christmas New Year event. Christmas slash New Year event. One ceiling there. When the third anniversary hits, they actually give you strong characters. So if people remember, in the first uh, anniversary, they sent out Kitasan Black and Satana Diamond. And in the second anniversary, they sent out Mr. CB and uh, uh, Daich Ruby. Uh, I didn't pull for uh, Kitasan Black and uh, Satana Diamond, but I did pull for uh, you know uh, Mr. CB and for Daich Ruby because they were really good ca characters. Um, and uh, you want to spend uh, two ceilings on the support cards because the support card is going to be very useful. Uh, the support card for the anniversary is always a given. So that's two ceilings for the support card and one ceiling for the character in the third anniversary and one ceiling either for the characters or for the support card for the Christmas New Year. So that's a total of four ceilings, and that's a conservative estimate. <laughs> a conservative estimate of four ceilings. Each ceiling is 30,000 joules, if you recall. 30,000 joules times four. 120,000 joules. You go, oh my god. 120,000 joules? I don't have 120,000 joules. Fear not. You don't need 120,000 joules. First of all, for the New Year's event and for the third anniversary, uh, they give you free pulls. So if you recall, in the second anniversary, they gave us 120, full, 120 free pulls in the support card element. So, uh, you know, you didn't actually have to have 60,000 jewels. You could have gotten by with 45,000 jewels for the support cards side, right? Um, and for the New Year's event, uh, from Christmas to the beginning of the year, Basically, they give out free pulls, and you roughly you get roughly a hundred free pulls there. Uh, you know that's dispersed between the characters and between the uh, uh, support cards. So, if you are going to pull these four, if you're going to pull these, uh, uh, you know, uh, if you're going to pull to the ceiling four times, uh, roughly speaking, uh, you got off one ceiling free, right? Half a ceiling from uh, the uh, support cards in the uh, third anniversary and roughly half a ceiling from the, the, uh, the, the Christmas New Year event. So you don't need 120,000 jewels, you need 90,000 jewels because they're going to give you free pulls. And then on top of that, in January and in December, you're going to play the game. And as long as you play the game, you get the login bonuses, you get the weekly bonuses, you get the weekly uh, rewards from running your stadium races. You also get, you know, the weekly, uh, not, you get the monthly rewards from doing the championship meeting or the League of Heroes. And you get the monthly rewards from doing the, the monthly story event, which you know, has like 5,000 5, jewels or something like that. And you get you know, rewards from doing the event that happens in between. So, roughly speaking, you get about 15,000 jewels per month. Roughly speaking. You might go higher, it might go lower. But that's 30,000 jewels. So with 30,000 jewels, that's another ceiling. So, although you want to have four ceilings saved up, 120,000 jewels, one ceiling goes away because it's going to give you free, and another ceiling goes away because you can actually save that in January and December.
So that is why you need 60,000 joules. If you are sitting at 60,000 joules as I speak, this is the end of November, Thanksgiving weekend, you are sitting pretty. Um, if you have 120,000 city, 120,000 jewels right now, you are golden. You can you can you know spend your jewels to your heart's content. I don't I don't ha I know I didn't have 120,000 jewels uh, around this time last year, but I know I had a comfortable margin, and that's part of the reason why I was able to actually pull for the characters uh, at the end of the year last year. This year. Not so much. <laughs> I had to pull for Star uh, Sounds of Earth because I had no, you know, st good stamina cards. And so I'm starting from you know f only four thousand jewels. So I can't actually spend. I don't want to spend money and you know um, any more money uh, uh, on the game until the, you know the third anniversary shows up. And I'm gonna save up the thirty thousand free jewels. So that's only thirty thousand free jewels. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I can only pull, you know, one character gotcha. That's it. Well, if you have money or if you're willing to spend money because you work like I do, uh, fear not. Uh, the good news is that in the third anniversary, as they do always do in anniversaries, they give you that uh, uh, deal for 10,000 yen. You can actually get 7,500 jewels. That's actually a nice deal, right? Normally for 10,000 yen, you only get 5,000 jewels. I mean, I can show you. Right? 10,000 jewels gives you only 5,000 jewels a month. You don't want to do this. This is a bad deal. But for 10,000 yen, you can get 7,500 jewels. Right? Um, so if you buy three of those suckers, then that's 22,500 jewels. Okay? Uh, on top of that, they actually also sell exchange tickets. So 3,000 yen... Uh, and 1500 jewels plus you get a free character or a free support card i'm definitely going to buy two of these right 3000 yen each so that's 36000 yen right? 3000 yen 3000 yen plus 10000 times 3 36 36000 yen 36000 yen uh if you divide it by you know if the exchange rate holds like roughly 150 yen to a dollar is 240 dollars so what I'm doing is I'm actually also saving up $240 uh, for upcoming February. And, you know, when the February shows up, I'm going to spend that $240. Um, and then that way, I'll have 25,000 jewels. So I'll have 30,000 jewels saved up plus 25,000 jewels that I can buy. And then that'll get me to the 60,000 jewels. And so if the support card is... Like last time, very good. Like you know, Major Lamon, I can spend two ceilings on the support cards and get that support card. Um, and for the character, I'm just gonna basically have to bite bite my tongue, uh, or you know, you know, tell myself that I'm not going to spend money uh, on the characters, and uh, uh, I just have to forswear on pulling the gacha. Or if the characters are really really good, I basically give up on the support card gotcha and I just pull for the characters uh, and that's what I uh, gotta decide on uh, so you know ideally you want to be sitting on 60,000 jewels at least I'm not so you have to basically uh, you know do what you can <laughs> but you're gonna get 30,000 jewels uh, in uh, December and January um, and you're gonna get uh, uh, you're gonna have the option to purchase roughly 25,000 jewels. Uh, you can actually get even more jewels uh, by purchasing the $10,000 version of the exchange ticket as well. So if you want to add another 20,000 to that, you can. So instead of spending, you know, uh, 36,000 yen, you can spend 56,000 yen. And if you spend 56,000 yen, I suppose you're spending something like you're spending close to like 500 bucks. Uh, yeah, you're spending close to you spend like four hundred fifty dollars or something like that, right? Uh, I don't have a calculator in front of me, so I can't do the math in my head. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, if you're working and if you're saving up, you know, if, if you save, like I'm right now, you know, trying to save one hundred twenty dollars each, you know, for December and January, so that uh, I'll be ready. But if I spend, if I save instead, you know, two hundred dollars and two hundred dollars, then you know, December. Uh, January and $200 in February, I can spend $600 in the February event, uh, and I'll be fine. So you want to plan ahead, is my point, right? 
uh, plan ahead. Uh, 60,000 jewels. I actually knew this number before I pulled for Stars of Earth, uh, Sounds of Earth. Had no choice, I pulled. So now I don't have the jewels. Just gonna have to live with that. <laughs> but it's not the end of the world, right? You just forego, you know, a couple of ceilings here and there. Um, and you can still catch up with at least the support cards. So you can play the game, uh, you know, and enjoy it uh, at that point. Now, if you have infinite money, you can spend as much money as you want. But I don't have infinite money. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, I'll see you guys later. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the gacha and the jewels that are necessary for uh, the future. Uh, and, you know, there you go. All right. Uh, talk to you guys. See you guys later. Bye bye.